Now let's meet a housewife who, when she's not sewing, does her baking the old-fashioned way. In fact, the oven works overtime here because when she hasn't got cakes in there, she's using it for her hobby, making plastic dolls. Meet Mrs. Jane Diaz, who at her basement flat in Bayswater, London, makes these dolls from the party stage to completed, elegantly coutured works of art. Mrs. Diaz makes the dolls in between the normal household chores and looking after her husband and small son. She works to a strict timetable. For example, baking time for the dolls is about 20 minutes. And the cakes? Well, like most housewives, she regards that as a professional secret. Similarly, while she's quite happy to give you the recipe of the plastic material used on the dolls, it's no use asking for the recipe for the cakes. You won't get that. Each doll is built round a copper wire foundation to give it movement and so that it can be handled more easily. But in any case, the plastic used is so tough that the finished doll is practically unbreakable. The hair is generally bought from a theatrical wig makers while other facial details and characteristics are painted in. Mrs. Diaz first began doll making when she was only 12, and her technique has since developed through trial and error to the very high standard she has attained today. Now, in fact, she has to be sculptor, artist, and couturier, for she makes all the doll's clothes, too. The dolls are created from ideas obtained from books and old prints, but to ensure that she gets every tiny detail correct, Mrs. Diaz often spends hours on research at public libraries and museums. At other times, her knowledge of painting enables her to recapture likenesses in people who ask her to make models of themselves. However, most people feel that caricatures like these are the best example of her talent. Completed dolls seem to have a character of their own, each one a complement to the skill of their creator. 